In 2017, we launched our Inspiring Minds campaign, the aim of which is to raise £40 million by 2024, which is the 400th anniversary of our foundation, uh, and that would support one in four students in the school on a means-tested bursary. The social mobility here is flexible and it's amazing. You really feel like you can just build upon anything. And there are a number of things we were trying to address in taking this initiative. Uh, the first one is uh, a problem facing the country, which is around social mobility. Uh, I think everyone's pretty clear that social mobility is stagnant, and lots of research suggests that there is a two-year attainment gap between the brightest pupils from poor backgrounds and the brightest pupils from wealthy backgrounds. And that's something that means a lot to me personally. The bursary is just unbelievable for me because without it, I wouldn't have been able to come here to a school that was sort of perfect for my needs, right next to where I lived. Um, great academically which is wanted to push for and it turned out to be amazing for my football as well. Before we launched the campaign in 2017 uh, we actually spent three years of meticulous planning and work thinking through very carefully our targets, our messaging, making sure we had the right evidence um, and making sure we secured the cornerstone gifts and that involved uh, a lot of hard work from the senior team, from governors uh, and from our campaign board of, of uh, supportive parents and alumni. We're hoping that we can share that with other schools uh, to enable them to launch their own campaigns. One of the great things I took away from the experience was that we were a bunch of people from all sorts of backgrounds and I think it's in many ways prepared me better than and in a lot of other places for uh, the outside world. It could have gone either way and to be going to Latimer Upper and to be Privilege to have a bursary was just one of the greatest things of my short 12-year-old life. Just as the Inspiring Minds campaign has enjoyed really great support from our alumni, uh, many of whom were here when we were at Grant Grammar School and benefited from a free place and, and want to give that opportunity to someone else. What's really interesting is I meet uh, every year with all of our bursary holders and they write me a letter and they tell me about the things they're doing, the things they're proud of. Uh, but always that letter ends with the students saying that when they are able to do so, they want to give that opportunity to someone else. And it really creates a, a virtuous cycle or a sort of pay it forward culture. Um, and hopefully that will ensure that what we're doing with bursaries is sustainable well into the future. I was the first person in my family who'd ever been to university. Um, and, um, and, and most people, when they think of someone like me in my position, would absolutely jump to the opposite conclusion. Um, uh, but, I, but it's really important that people understand that whatever background you're from, you do have the opportunities to A, succeed in life and B, make a profound difference in whatever field you choose to be involved in. I'm pleased to say that there were 98 students on bursaries in 2012, next year there'll be over 200. Uh, so in, in a space of uh, five years of the campaign, we've already more than doubled the number of students in the school on bursaries. I think if people don't get those chances, we're going to live in a much poorer society for stop. It brings in the brightest and the best and hopefully gives them a future. So if you can give education to someone who wouldn't have got a good education otherwise, that's a fantastic investment.